Hey guys, Andrew here with Elephant Racing. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to install our GT3 front suspension system for Porsche 911s, 912s, 930s, and 914s onto this 1974 Porsche 911. We've adapted our 997 GT3 control arms to fit early 65 through 89 911s and 70 through 76 914s. System includes a complete subframe and replaces the stock cross member control arms, mounts, bushings, and ball joints. It's built from aircraft grade aluminum and is about half the weight of the replaced components. The system is designed for ease of adjustability of camber, caster, and even track width. Remember, this video is only an overview of the installation process, so be sure to check our website for the current downloadable instructions. Also, always have a service manual handy, and remember to follow all standard safety procedures when performing work on your car. To begin, go ahead and bolt the cross member to the underside of the car. You'll utilize the two cross member brackets on each of the ends and the two holes directly through the cross member for six bolts total. To attach a longitudinal member and caster arm onto the front of the car, attach the three bolts to their mounting holes, utilizing the included spacers between the body and the mount. These bolts will be threaded loosely to allow later positioning into place. Now, we'll go ahead and slide the lower control arm between the cross member and the longitudinal member, being mindful of the seals. Thread in the bolt directly through the cross member and heim joint, lining up the longitudinal member. Carefully thread in by hand to avoid cross threading. Once attached, go ahead and connect the lower control arm to the caster arm, and hand tighten the nut and bolt with a sway bar mount attached. Be sure to tighten the lower control arm against the cross member first in order to sit the front arms and bracket into place. Next, tighten the two bolts that lock the longitudinal member into place. With those tightened, we can now move on to the three bolts in the front bracket. And lastly, tighten the bolt that goes directly through the heim joint. With all the bolts tightened, we'll attach the strut to the lower control arm by lining up and inserting the ball joint at the end of the arm to the bottom of the strut mount hole. Once aligned, we'll insert the wedge pin fully with blows from a hammer and punch, and after, torque the nut into place. Be sure to go back and torque all the previous bolts to spec, and that's it, the right side of the system is installed. Now follow the same steps for the other side and the installation of your entire GT3 suspension system is complete. Yeah. 